Hello, this is Red McNed. Welcome back to the saga. And I'm going to throw you guys off by facing this way instead of this way. I realize that I'm already falling into the habit. Although I kind of like this view. It's It's got a little bit of everything that uh, has happened so far. Um, so yes, I'm facing this way now. Yes, at least for now. But there's a few things I want to do in this episode. Um... One thing is to kind of figure out the uh, more things for this town as far as where I want to put things. So there's a lot of floating trees still in the middle that I haven't cleaned up, so I want to do that. And I actually want to have an area that's designated for tree growing. Like, I've been thinking about this far, this this area, and, you know, it's not really supposed to be that advanced like sure I could build a bunch of like auto tree farms find tutorials on them auto wheat farms but I wonder if it would really work with the area like it's it's not that these rustics are inept or anything like that but like I kind of want to make it that the uh, I want to I want to use the technologies wisely and I want to actually build a contrast between what areas have more technology that they use and which ones have less. So this area is going to be a bit more manual, just to uh, keep flavor going. So what I'm probably going to do is instead of having this area for tree growing, this is going to be kind of like the central area of the town. I'm going to relocate that to probably one of these houses on the side. And I'll probably put some, some, uh, I guess I'll start with the trees. What's this? No break in the action? Just a, all of a sudden the trees are, the trees are gone and cleaned up? No, oh, he must have, uh, he must have cheated or something, or I don't know. No. Well, actually what happened is I'm implementing a new strategy for, uh, I kind of mentioned this at the at the end of the last episode, but I've been avoiding making any breaks because I kind of want I wanted to show every detail of what I did. But as a result, I don't think I could fit as much into videos as I wanted to. So, if I have any time lapses or tedious tasks or relentless ramblings or obnoxious admonishments or anti-climactic anti-disestablishmentarianism where it's all over the place I'll put it at the end of my videos however if I think it's necessary uh, I'll, I'll show stuff in a montage form in the middle of like projects or whatever um, but for this for something like this I told you what I did what I was gonna do is clear this out I did. Uh, that's that's going to be the um, my modus operandi, or whatever, just how I do. So if you ask me, how do you do, or how it do, or any variation of that, that is how I do, how I does. I think I nailed it. That doesn't that doesn't need another take. That that's that's the uh, first take best take. So there's an area that I want to have behind these houses over here for trees, like a natural tree cutting down area. I want to limit the cows to over there so if you're if you're faint of heart, look away. Okay. I don't like to film that sort of thing but I kind of have to because I have to. <laughs> but I'm going to... Oh, there's another one. Why you make me do this? Oi. 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 This area behind this house, I think, is going to be where the trees get cut down and grown. And spooky, spooky things happen. <laughs> behind that house, spooky things happen. I want to keep everything where there's spruce trees untouched. 
And I'll kind of explain some of that as I go. But I want this this area to end at the spruce trees. Like this is this is the wilderness. And it is not under the protection of these lands. I'll 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 flush out the story later. But for now, uh, I'm gonna clear out a lot of this area. Wow! So taking away all those trees, this uh, this area opens up pretty f pretty fast, pretty wide. All of a sudden, there's a lot of uh, space. So, um, but anyway, we. We have all this extra area over here. I went ahead and removed the trees up to the forest back there. And I want to have some sort of a place for food, for the for a new upgraded garden. And uh, seeing all the wildlife, because the trees aren't hiding it anymore, I need a spot for the sheep. So I'm going to think about where those can go. This may be the last time I uh, harvest this, so just a, a moment of silence, I suppose, before I go to town. It's kind of, I don't really think I gave it a moment of silence, did I? I gave it like the smallest of moments. Oh well. It was, it was a good farm. You know what, I'm looking at this and I'm starting to think maybe a whole remodeling is actually in order. I feel like there should, in order for there to be a, I think it should be like a river kind of going through this town. But, I just saw that, uh, that rabbit take fall damage. I kind of want to have it feed from the mountain like a river coming down through here. And it can come through and, uh, supply the landscape with the water it needs uh, more naturally. And I think I'm going to have to raise all this up and kind of redesign this whole area. And I actually am not afraid to do that. I think that, you know, everything in this game, that's the cool, that's the cool part of this game. I don't think people always remember is you don't have to keep things the way they are. Every single block, this one right here, this one, anything is removable, except for bedrock, so okay, fine, but you can really do a lot like you can you don't have to settle for anything if you don't think it's good enough, so I'm gonna actually take this stuff out Rabbit, you better think wisely about your next move. Just, I'm just saying, there's a waterfall right there. And you better think wisely, because I don't want a rabbit down there. I don't want to influence uh, this decision to go anywhere in particular. It might just not do anything. All right, this all thing, this all things going. It might seem strange taking away something after you spent the time building it, but really, you have to tell yourself there's nothing that you can make that you can't make again better, anyways. And sometimes you have to make room for something that's better. So it's it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. What's bad is if you cling to your past successes and never try anything new. I don't want to get too heavy though. This is just a video game. <laughs> it's just a game. <laughs> the game of life. Alright, so I have a lot of dirt <laughs> and a lot of torches. So I'm hopefully I'm hopefully hmm, 
I'm hoping that's going to be useful. <laughs> I'm, I'm also hopefuling. <laughs> it's the uh, the verb form of hopeful. Yeah. So terraforming. It's uh, interesting. Very interesting. It's not that interesting. Calm down. Calm down. Well, can't keep my camera steady. Basically, you're bringing the ground around. No, you're not. You're bringing the ground up and down to make things look more natural. So I'm going to do something here, and I'm going to explain what I'm doing, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I do. Who knows? Even I don't know if I'll do anything. No, I will. Don't worry. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of a guide. Sort of a, if I hit this mark, I'm doing my job. So rough guides are always good. This is about the height I want this new area to be. And I'm going to have a couple of these little height uh, goals or marks or whatever. So this is going to be one of them. And I guess if I wanted, I could actually just take this height and bring it all the way back. Because um, I want to have the stream come from up here. I want to have water basically come down this and around this and through here. But I also want to have another way for it to go down into this. So that will be kind of interesting to figure out. So I'm upstream kind of. I'm kind of I'm trying to look for the source of the water. Where do I want the water to come from? So the three three big questions about water. Where is it coming from? Where is it going through and where where is it going? So I might reform this to be like a water way. And it kind of comes out here. And it can go either that way or that way. I guess it can go both. And maybe it'll have some cool interaction with the cave that we have, too. So, how do I want to do this? I think I want to have this level going on. So... If this kind of water falls down to here, this is about the same height as the other one. Okay. Okay. So I, I guess I will be bringing this flat ground all the way through here and meeting it with that. And if you don't know what I mean, you will. Maybe. I'm going to start with that side, though, because I think that side's actually higher than this. I'm going to go under really fast and torch, put torches everywhere. I'm not going to fill this in because, who knows, it could be a nice secret place. Another one. Not the official secret place. The official secret place is over there. But you never know. You could use something. I'm not going to worry about this area just yet, so I'm going to make a wall here. Not going to worry about it yet. <laughs> That's what this is establishing. By this here wall's presence, I claim that I'm not going to worry about it. Put some torches on top of it. Who knows, maybe I'll end up building something that's like a retaining wall there. So this might actually be the bed of the river. And I'd like to keep it going this way. So actually, hmm. Maybe I'm going to build something just right along here. So I'm going to get rid of dirt kind of along this angle.
So I'm trying to keep it about the same width going through here. Um, let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and build a retaining wall that's going to kind of justify the fact that it's uh, not spilling over. And, you know, maybe maybe I won't do much with this after all. But I will put a wall here and kind of have it guiding that way. And this is just a little... This is all that's going to remain of the, uh, the old farm. I'm going to make sure that stays perfectly intact. It's a nice little Easter egg. I've been using cobble for most everything else. I don't think this civilization is making a uh, stone brick. So we'll stick with what what they know best. And it's going to be pretty basic looking for now. I don't know, maybe we'll get dressed up. Look pretty, take it to a party. Now I'm going to bring it up one. Alright, so that's kind of a start. Uh, the water is going to be funneling through there and it's going to go into the cra <laughs> the table and everything. Alright. Um, we're just making the the bed. We're not going to lay in it just yet. I think this is going to go up one more. And I might bring the ground up. Maybe just near the wall. I'm stuck on the wrong side of my base and it's night. All right, so the water is going to go down here. It's going to go do 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 do. It's going to come and funnel into the waterway here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block that off, and I'm actually going to start filling this with water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of make a uh, infinite source right here. So if I take it from the middle, or not there, from the middle, that should be infinite. And I'm going to go ahead and fill up this whole little area here. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do a similar thing to uh, everything up here. Although I'm going to take it, take this out. All 
right, so now this is all filled in. We have kind of a, uh, <laughs> this turned out being an interesting shape. I don't know how to really, uh, let me, let me think about this. So now this is going to be where the source of the water is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of take some of these blocks out to make a sort of a canal looking thing. I'm only going to bring them back here though because there's a cave right there. So this should work as an infinite water. I'm just going to fill up the top area and see what the water does. Alright, so that actually does not look bad. I'm going to go ahead and do do some of this. I'm going to do it. <laughs> see, I might put one of those there. And build up the wall here so it looks like it's a little bit more natural. And from here, that looks pretty good. It also looks like there's a lot of water, so I might have to I might have to narrow this down a little bit. Alright, that's a little more realistic. Uh it could still be more realistic. <laughs> This is just to kind of give it a uh, a narrowed down look. All right, so that's looking a little better. Now I'm going to kind of make the make it match the hill a little more. The trick to this is not making it look like a checkerboard or like it's going up entirely uniform. Like if the whole thing looks like this, then it would be kind of weird. So I throw in strange stuff like that. See, that doesn't look too bad. Now I will do the other side real fast. Just kidding. I'm going to do the other side real slow. Really painfully slow. So slow. I have almost used up all my dirt. We're actually really close to the uh the old house now. So for the rest of this, I'm going to uh I'm going to fill this in a little bit, but I'm going to start taking away ground instead of adding it. So I'm sort of uh making a channel as it's a uh, as its guide. So this is going to eventually go into town and do some fun stuff. It's going to go, Wah! no, it's going to do stuff, but this is going to be the source of the water for what's going to go on over there. So I'm going to have a little canal type thing set up, or not a canal, a um, just a water thing. <laughs> 
called a water thing. And it's going to go right by this. So I don't want to I don't want to take this out. But it's going to go like straight through here. And it's going to just be an offshoot from this river, just a little bit. And it's going to come over and it's going to water some plants. I can tell I'm going to have to move so many things around. This thing is going to it's going to be tough to keep this around, but I kind of want to keep it. I have no idea. I cannot justify keeping this, but for some reason it's grown on me. Ah, moving. So I think I finally finished. I uh took everything down here and just, you know, kind of brought it up here. Put them in their spots or whatever's enchantment tables there I lit it up just so I can pretend like I care about lighting because I haven't this this entire series so far unless I'm caving it's like the one exception alright so now I can kinda be a little bit more free about what I do in this area so I'm gonna actually take those trees out they never saw it coming so I think I'm gonna actually make this the uh, the food area so I'm gonna make a little uh, a little canal that empties out just like right here it'll go down it'll be kinda like a terrace farm sort of you'll you'll see what I'm getting at oh you'll see All right, now I'm gonna take out the uh, the blocks here, and I'm gonna bring the water right along that <laughs> where where those things are being carried. It looks very silly. If you weren't sure how infinite water works in a straight line, you can take this. You can actually take the one behind it, and it's still there. So you just kind of leapfrog like that. It's quite, whoops, it's quite amazing until you fall off. And actually, you could probably make it go faster by doing by skipping two spots. Not even probably. I'm. That's exactly what I'm doing. So before we get into this, this farm area, I'd like to first call up a friend uh, with our uh, interdimensional communicational portable phone. Um, it's myself in creative mode. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> Not at all. Well, we got a uh, little bit of things here for looking at how water works with crops. And it just rained recently, so there might be a couple spots that are... Uh, not characteristic like this this guy over here but this is what it looks like when water is introduced and you can see the ground hydrates at around I need this one two three four and one two three four so a nine by nine area if you include the middle gets hydrated by one block of water and that is good to know as you can see not, not the other ones don't get hydrated the reason you want to hydrate is well I planted these both about the same time the same time this one is not getting water and that one is in fact growing faster I have a few variations just to show you what are good spots to put water. Obviously, you can put one next to it. Obviously. At, oh, yes, obviously. You can put it at ground level. However, 
If you go one down, it does not hydrate the ground. Well, if you go one up, though, it still does. It still hits everything just as if otherwise. And But two blocks above the ground and the water does not hydrate everything. Now you can stretch out your block by having it run in any direction. Water will flow seven blocks and at each spot, even the lowest one, it still does the nine by nine area. So four this way, not including the middle, four this way. So you could probably come up with some interesting patterns with that. And a few more last thoughts that are kind of interesting about it is that you don't you don't have to actually have the ground um, as long as the space reaches this is the uh, the corner of the 9x9 nine nine square that gets hydrated so it might seem weird but here's the origin it goes one two three four so anything you put out this far is one two three four will get hydrated and it can either be at the level like in a planter or or down a level and strangely enough even uh this yeah you can just uh this really doesn't make any sense but it is hydrated and it is it does make sense via the game mechanics cuz it is 1 2 3 4 it's still within the uh the the area that gets hit it gets hydrated so hopefully that helps you out. Good stuff as usual. So as he was saying, as long as we're four blocks away, or within within that four block reach, we can water the ground. Uh, oh, got to get my hoe. So we're going to have a nice channel going down here. And the water is going to flow nice and happy along it. That's kind of silly that it just kind of kept going straight. Um, didn't expect that. So, what we can do is fill this in with the, the ground that we have left. This is actually all the dirt I have left, which is kind of surprising. And what we can do is... No, actually I'm gonna this went too far. Know that these areas will be able to host plant life. Look at that, it's already filling up. Now from this point, we're going to do some kind of interesting stuff. We're going to have the ground go in a few different directions. So this is going to be a branch that goes straight ahead, a branch that goes sideways, and another branch that goes this way. And I don't know if this is how it's going to go forever, but we're going to have some sort of a uh, system where each of these finds its outlet to the water. This one might go in here for now. Um, this one's going to go toward the ocean. Let's see, it's going to flow seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's going to go down. So I'm going to get these out of here. And I think that it wasn't what I wanted to do. I'm going to put those back, actually. And let's see. If this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four. All this counting. 
This should work. So I'll take this away. Y'all go in different dererias. <laughs> Directions and areas put together, you get dererias. And they'll sleep really fast. These rabbits. Ribbits. I'll help this one find the, uh, the water. <laughs> the water it wants to find anyways. None of this floaty. None of that. That's that's preschool. Big kids now. Gotta be cool, big kids. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, we're getting some pretty good uh Oops. <laughs> Getting some space for uh, for stuff. A lot of more space than the last one. So I'm actually going to start planting. I'm going to plant all these seeds down that I have. Alright, so that's all the seeds we have planted. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this a way to get to the water. I think I'm going to start with this one though. I'm just going to run it right into the water. If it doesn't reach, I'm going to make it reach. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have I'm gonna be making some alterations to the terrain. I'll just make the water make sense. Talk some sense into it. I think I'll bring this down a level. I'm only kind of worried about stuff jumping on this and ruining it. I know they're just kind of waiting for to do that. I don't know. Maybe I can get the animals in spots. So I'm going to be a little cheaty with this, I think. I might just put water standing still in here. Make it look like it's a uh, a running stream. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of water too fast. It's not going to make it to the ocean. Yeah, I might just actually do this to all of the, uh, the waterways. Maybe I'll give this a little better, more realistic look. That's such an odd lighting glitch, because I, I don't really know what to do about it, but just that just keeps looking like there's a window there. No idea what to do about it. Just very odd. Alright, there we go. So the water has its outlets, and there's more room in here if we want to put more plants. So these, I'm pretty happy. These, I'm pretty happy. So you know what's really cool about that last project is that we now have more dirt. So I can make do. I can make do. 
I could make do more things. So when mapping out this river, I'm going to be very simple at first. I'm just going to give it a direction then kind of like this. Just a one, one thing here. Just kind of going around. What I might do is I might actually have it from here go over into this. Incorporate this somehow. And then from here might be nice to have it go like that. So I can do something kind of like this. So it'd be a little, a little kind of a wind thing. Right. So I think we have enough time to figure out the rest of this river. So we have a general path here, and actually, you know what, it, it, it looks a little sharp right there, so I might just use this for one side of it. And it can uh, empty out quite nicely into this. So what I'm probably going to do is try to make this a uniform uh, shape all the way. And by that, I just mean kind of equal distance between banks. We'll see just how far out this needs to go. Oops. I might need to narrow this up a little actually. So if the river is going to indeed drop down into this, then it's probably going to do something like that. Um, which is fine. I think. Just gonna put a little more wall here. That's all. And I think this still makes sense. Maybe. I'm going to move this out to about, uh, about there. And there. All right, that makes me happy. Because this is about to make more sense. Just gonna put water in that corner. It should fill this up. Okay, I like the look of that a lot better. Oh, and one more thing: if you want the water to not turn into a block like it did earlier in the video, everywhere where the water falls off, just dig a little spot. That keeps it from ever having any solid blocks of water forming there. And just put solid water everywhere else. In case I fail to mention, the quickest way to fill in water is to go for the corners. No! Don't go! No! Fluffy! No! 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 
That looks pretty nice. So now I'm going to actually raise the water level on this whole thing uh, one block. So I'm going to make sure that this all outside is is up as well. Yep, it'll practically fill itself if you just get the uh, outsides, the corners. Ooh, we got some wheat. So the reason I brought that up a level was so that it would make more sense when it goes into the next areas. Alright, so the rest of this is going to be at this level, and then it's going to drop off into the water eventually. So I might actually bring this, I might reshape this lake. Yeah, I'm going to reshape the lake so it, uh, it kind of fits the, uh, the shape of this area better. All right, so we can uh, finesse this, make it look nice and natural as it uh, approaches the water, and give it a bit of an angle, something like that. Now I'll gently guide it to the water. I'm going to make sure that this doesn't block up and be weird. All right, there we go. Um, let's do this really fast. So that's the river as it goes through town. It might look strange right now, but we're going to make it so the landscape kind of matches it. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. Cliffhanger. This has been Red Vigned. Thanks for watching. And next time, we're going to get into a kind of big project that I'm really excited for. So hopefully I'll see you then.